Now in here we've got a rock filter. It's actually a, a hollow rock, like a resin sort of ornament that I made into a filter that I showed in a previous video. But this video isn't about that wonderful filter. It's about some horrendous scum that is blighting the top of this tank. And it's, it's something that hasn't happened by accident. I've actually promoted this scum to grow <laughs> because I want to test a small skimmer to see how effective it is. <laughs> no, that is absolutely disgusting. It's horrendous. And if you've got something like that on top of your water, it's really going to affect the um, exchange between the water and the atmosphere. It's absolutely horrendous. Your water really needs to be clear on the top. That has almost like a sealing effect on it. It kind of seals all the pollutants into the tank that would otherwise just escape to the atmosphere. Now, you, you might wonder how I caused that to happen. Well, this little tank is in my back office the door to that would normally be shut so it would be away from where we were packaging up all the filter material and it would be away from all the dust I've left the door open purposefully for about a month so all the dust from there or at least an appreciable amount of the dust from there has come through and it's settled on the water surface I've never scooped any of it off I've never made any attempt to clean it so that's a month's worth of scum on top of there it's grown beautifully and this is the thing that we're going to try and clear it with. This is the Skim 2 Aquarium Surface Skimmer from All Pond Solutions. That's a very simple little thing. It basically just sticks on the side of your tank. It's got a small pump in here which pumps water out. It draws water in the top through this little floating weir here. Which has got slits in. So your scum should go in there. It'll drop down into some fine pad. The fine pad will catch all the fine muck, all the scum, all the oils and everything on the top. And then water will be spat out here and you've got a venturi to aerate the water as well. You can adjust the flow here with a dial. So let's stick this in the tank. I'll show you how it goes in, uh, show it in operation. Hopefully show you some scum dropping into it and then we'll see how long it takes to clear that horrendous scum on the top. Okay, this right hand side seems to be the worst, so we'll put it in there. <laughs> I've got it all over my arm already. Right, we've got our floating weir here which should allow the scum to be sucked in there. That's our fine pad. We should see the muck dropping down and catching in the fine pad when I switch it on. Let's see. Well, you can certainly see the water going down there. And you can certainly see the venturi effect. It's actually quite noisy. But if we adjust how much air it's sucking in, that actually quietens it down a bit. There, that's pretty silent. That's good. Let's have a look inside the skimmer. Okay, the muck is going down there. Definitely see bubbles of scum going down. Right, we've got the light off there, and you can see just how much, why well, not scum, but, I don't know, I want to call it smeg, but, I don't know, I better not call it smeg, but about how much muck has been dislodged by that pump. There's all sorts of crap floating around in there. Hopefully, that will end up inside that foam, and it will end up being trapped. I guess time will tell, but it's definitely sucking the scum in there. Right, I've just opened up the air intake that's on the pump that's inside the big rock filter. Hopefully that'll encourage the surface to be a little bit more agitated and will result in this horrible mess being drawn down 
inside the skimmer. Now I can already see that that fine pad in there has caught some of that smeggy stuff so hopefully it'll get all of that. How long it'll take is anybody's guess. I couldn't resist. This is about half an hour later and you can see already a lot of the muck off the top has gone. Some of it has ended up in the water. Look at that, that's not very clear at all. So it's obviously breaking it up. With any luck, eventually it will end up in the filter. Okay, just a few notes on this particular little skimmer. I got this one on Amazon, link is in the video description. It pumps approximately 300 litres per hour. It's got the Venturi, it comes with a little bit of fine pad, and it's also got that adjustable height strainer as well, which just floats up with the surface of the water. But the best part is, I got this one delivered to my home for under £10. That's a pretty good deal. That works out maybe it's 11 50 or $12 or something like that. That's pretty cheap and I know there's videos all over YouTube of people making DIY surface skimmers and they work very very well. Problem is they tend to look absolutely awful. This actually looks pretty good and by the time you bought a power head and put your bottle and you know you've, you've made your DIY thing it probably cost you more than a tenner. That's only a tenner and it's already done. It's already there. And you can just cut your own little fine pads, you know. I wouldn't make a DIY one. Not when I see how well that little fella's working already. There's actually no scum anywhere in the tank after an hour. Look at the sides, totally clean. See where the rock meets the water? Totally clean. And apart from all those bubbles being generated by those two pumps, there's nothing organic floating around in the water. Just a nation of bubbles. Obviously you wouldn't have that many bubbles around. I've got both air intakes on both pumps turned on. So it looks pretty mad in there. I think if you had fish in here, they'd practically be breathing air. They'd be struggling because there wasn't enough water in the water. That concludes my little test of this great little skimmer for under a tenner.